Hello friends, welcome back to the Mandesla YouTube channel. Uh, Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2023 that I'm putting it out here. And um, yeah, pretty excited about this year. 2022 was kind of good to me. Uh, yeah, I would probably, will I do a video about uh, uh, the good and the bad things about 2022? I don't know, yes. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So if you're, if this is your first time here, uh, so here on Monday's uh, YouTube channel, my name is Herve. I live in Zug, I am a tech lead in a software company. And here on this channel, we talk about productivity, we talk about popping, uh, we talk techno about technology in general. So I have done a bunch of series about the kids like what's in my bags, like my work bag, my gym bag, my photography bag because I have I do also photography on the weekends mostly so you can go in the description and check out those series so those are the things that I did last year and this year yes we'll continue with those good things so mainly technology mainly productivity mainly well-being in general so in this video I'm going to be talking about five things five elements five habits that I will try to incorporate in my daily routines. So most of these routines are things I've already tried in my uh, past years, like 2021, 2022, most, like some are kind of new to my lifestyle. But yes, those are five uh, habits that I will be incorporating in my daily routines to increase overall my productivity and my well-being. So there is nothing that like going back home like at the end of your day being happy about uh, what you did how you evolved how things went in your day and yeah to increase my productivity so let's go so habit number one uh, the, the habit I'm going to be incorporating in my daily routine the first one is waking up early so normally I'm a more like a night owl so I kind of get productive late at night uh, and I have tried both these systems. I've tried to wake up so too, too early and also like to work at night. But yes, you have to admit it, like the whole world kind of uh, follows the daily sunlight. So it's always better to be uh, up and running from the first time, from the first sunlight until the, the, the dawn. So uh, by waking up early, um, I'm talking about kind of starting to wake up at around uh, 5.55 uh, so I've seen somewhere some people like mentioning this time and I kind of like didn't want to go in there because I don't want to make it like a, a thing about it but yeah I have my gym that opens at 6 a.m. and my idea is to kind of be ready and be in the gym at something like 6.10 or something like that to be there and do yeah do my cardio so to manage to work up early you need to first like set up your sleeping routine you need to prepare yourself you need to prepare your bags for example for the next day you need to prepare your day your outfit of the next day you need to be ready that the, for the moment that you wake up that everything is already set you just everything is set and you don't have to be working up and trying to decide on things that you'll be wearing or things that you the food you'll be taking to work or, or anything like that so you need to be able to sleep at a certain time you need to sleep at a certain time so you can be able to wake up early. Um, my functioning, my physiology works well when I slept like something above seven hours. So the idea is not to wake up at five when I slept at two or at one. So yeah, first element, first habit is to wake up early at around just before 6 a.m. so I can be ready to go into the gym, do my cardio and kind of ready uh, start my day. Habit number two. Um, so as I already mentioned, uh, the idea of me waking up early is to be able to go to the gym in the morning and do cardio. So for those who know kind of what I do, like generally, I do go to the gym. I'm kind of regular uh, gym rat, I could say. I, I do regularly go to the gym. I do workout, I do uh, some uh, fitness exercises, I could call them but I really hate cardio so normally in my nature I know that I really hate cardio but uh, sometimes I go I think like one, uh, one, one year and a half I met one of these bodybuilder trainer and he looked at me and I was like yeah you need to do cardio and literally so I, he was like you, whatever you are doing is okay but you need to be doing cardio and yeah 
I really hated that because he was totally right. My BMI was not uh, was not the best. My body fat indices were also skyrocketing. So, and it's also like very good for the health, like for the for your cardiovascular uh, fitness. So you need to be able to take stairs to be able to run and to be able to do these things so this is something that i've been reg like uh, incrementally increasing i've started to do like uh 45 minutes sessions of cardio alone uh since last time I've, I've tried to increase them and now i'm at really kind of regularly be able i i i, I'm a, I, I feel good like doing three sessions like those like monday wednesday and friday for example I wake up early and I go to the gym and I do my cardio session, which is like something like one hour. So yeah, element number two, do more cardio. Habit number three, it's, um, it's drinking m more water. So normally I am someone who drinks something around like one, 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 one point five liters naturally per day of water, but uh, for, for my, regular fitness but also for my physiology to really work well you know to be hydrated to not be uh, have that small uh, headache that is like kind of staying on your head on your head like all the time or to sleep well to be able to wake up at on time to not have like small uh, like bad feelings and things like that and I also kind of take some supplements so my body really needs water so I'm, I'm aiming to try to take to have an intake a daily intake of at least 2.5 liters per per day um i bought this bottle it's a lark bottle very good company uh that sells this format this is the one of their biggest it's like 0 0.950 milliliters of water and it has normally it's supposed to have like a filter it has to have like a, a filter that goes inside, but in Switzerland they didn't have the filter, so I just have I just had this one. So it has like a UV uh, UV kind of lighter inside that is kind of purify your water, like killing all the bacteria. And it has also I'm not sponsored by by Lark, uh, not at all. But it looked it looked really good. It was like black matte, and uh, it has this way like this pouch that I can attach to things so this is the solution I found so the, the idea is to always have this bottle with me and to always have it filled and uh, to be able to go uh, at least at 2.5 liters I need to drink like three times this this bottle so the idea is that when I wake up in the morning I empty it and then I, 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 I have a full bottle like a full bottle of this which is almost a liter and then at noon before going for my meal, so I have another liter, it's already like almost two, so it's like 1.8. And then uh, between there and like at 6 p.m. when I go home, I have another full bottle of, uh, of this water, so which is already like around 2.7 liters. But then I also have some glasses, like if I have food, if I'm having meal at night or uh, before sleeping or something like that, I also kind of had, have some other intake that is kind of not super regular. So this bottle about three times, like three regular uh, points of the day, like especially during breaks, like when I wake up, before I go to eat and before I leave work, I have this almost one liter. So that's habit number three, stay more hydrated drink more water, 2.5 liters at least per day. So habit number four, um, my uh, other habit that I'm going to try to really, so it's something that I tried, I think in 2020, uh, kind of lost interest in it, but recognized the good that it did to my daily routines and to my mindfulness and whole mood, like whole, daily mood uh, is meditation so me as a person who's literally not spiritual at all who is literally uh, I don't know like as rational as someone could be I do not pray I do not practice any form of spirituality so but it's another whole debate um, but meditations 
like there are very good applications out there that, that, that there is a like a certain number of applications there that are secular so these applications they are totally outside of the spiritual world outside of the, the, it's also like a new trend which i really like and really salute it's like a very way, good way for people that are not spiritual to kind of practice mindfulness totally outside of the spiritual world so there is this application that i use uh so me i use calm i don't know if you've heard if you have heard about this application so yes as i was saying me i use calm so uh my idea so because for me to remember everything every day to to do meditation i kind of need a, a daily reminder and i need like a reminder i need to put in place like a routine and the process of when i do that so what i do in the morning the, the very good thing with this application is that they have a bunch of like uh, programs that are all, of course all pre-recorded and from time to time you could like stumble upon something you have already had but yes uh for especially for people that are starting like this application calm i think it's a very good one so what i do in the morning so is i have the daily uh calm meditation by some how is what is her, yeah by tamara levitt i don't know who he is but her voice is really wonderful and yes, so I do that meditation for for 10 minutes. It's, it's something that takes like 10 minutes in the morning. You can do that, for example, that's what I do. And afterwards, you can also stay paused for like another five or 10 minutes, depending on what you want or depending on the mood you want to start your day with. The other thing that I do is I also do the daily trip by Warren. I think his name is Jeff Warren. Yes, so very, very good application that I really like to use. So it's a paid application you have to pay. I'm pretty sure there are also other uh, applications that you not need to pay to do practice meditation. And YouTube is also full of um, sessions of meditation and techniques and ways of teaching it. Uh, and I really like it. So meditation is my fourth habit that I would want to reinforce in my daily routine, especially because it helps me like practice mindfulness. mindfulness so I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm at a stage where I'm more aware of the good doing, of the benefits of well, mindfulness things, and of stoicism. So this, I'm, I'm, it's really aligned with my my tendencies. Like say, I would say at these times. So fourth habit, meditation, which is at least like 20 minutes per day. So daily calm in the morning, and then daily trip with Jeff Warren, all in the calm application very very good way to start the day and to kind of close it so habit number five so this is a kind of new thing um, for me so uh, I don't know how I could, like call it but I think is to, to take some rests and to prioritize me time is to actively rest actually so um, normally you know like in life where depending but it's also like a comfortable thing it's not you people all the people like all over the world do not have the luxury of saying that yes i will be taking one day off or be taking i don't know one year off or something like that but yes at the stage where i am i think it's really useful for me to take some rest i've already seen it like weeks that i pack in, in which i pack a lot of things and try to be like super productive from monday to monday and monday to monday and monday to monday i end up like not really burning out because i totally know when I would burn out and, treat and take some rest but I know that I'm less productive so when I really have like a real break like on Sunday for example or Saturday or like I take a full real day of zero uh, productive activity like literally zero like I take my camera for example and go just not hiking i'm not doing hiking but yeah take a, a go someplace with my car and take pictures or see friends or like something that is completely not productive not supposed to be productive not supposed to be like creating something outside of it like with zero intent like zero intention i would just go there and rest and yes this is far like this is the habit number five to prioritize some rest and some me time and do like intentional rest so yes um those are my five habits that i will be 
uh, incorporating like and reinforcing in my daily routines. So the, it's about like doing cardio. It's about like waking up early, drinking more water, meditating, and also taking some rest. Whoa. From now and then, like real rest. I wouldn't finish this video without mentioning a bonus like habit that I'm also going to be keeping. It's something that I kind of like actively started recently. I mean, for the last two years at least. It's journaling. So um, journaling it can sound like sketchy and uh, kind of, but there are very different ways of journaling. Uh, the way I prefer is uh, a kind of form, it's, it is that it's a short moment of journaling that can be long but that is designed to be like short and straightforward. So um, there are very ways, there are, there are variant ways I've seen uh, like very very good notion templates for example uh, where you could be like doing your journaling and you have like the bullet points that you have to, to be kind of filling in. So they're like subjects like what, I, what is your top priority of the day? Um, what are you grateful for, uh, any comments, any particular things that you want to develop on, and what are the list of the tasks that you want to be accomplishing to that day. And doing that thing, like, not the first thing in the morning, because I want to be able to do that when my head is up, like full aware of the situation, like full in the world. So it's something that I do, for example, before leaving my place or uh, it's something that I do whenever I feel like my day has really started. So journaling is also a habit that I'm going to be keeping because it also helps me track progress. You know, there are different ways of journaling also. You can journal using video, you can journaling uh, using a paper on the pen. My handwriting is the worst. You can be journaling uh, using an application. There are plenty, there are a bunch of applications out there. So yeah, just go there and try to see if there is any application that pleases you anyway so thanks again for watching my videos uh see you in the next one and yes don't forget to comment like and share this video uh i'm working on that polestar video i'm working on getting my hands on other electrical vehicles in zug and yes thanks again and stay around see you in the next one bye bye